and welcome back to Ultimate Arms. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bagheera B14 HMR. Now this rifle really does have everything you're going to want for either hunting or mass shooting, which the HMR stands for. So this has got a really nice stock, a super smooth action, a nice adjustable trigger. It takes AICS style magazines. It's got a 22 inch button honed rifle barrel. Uh, which is threaded at the muzzle. It's got everything you're going to need for either shooting matches with or taking out hunting. It's got adjustable length of pull, just comb riser. It's got everything. And I do mean everything. So this rifle in the U.S. sells for around $1,050 MSRP or for around $1,600 Canadian. So this one I got here is from a friend of mine. And so far, I'm really impressed with it, except for one thing, which I'll talk about shortly after. So, the barrel on this rifle is a button rifle home barrel. So because of that, I would expect some really good accuracy out of this rifle. So let's go out to the range and do some shooting with it. And don't forget to like and subscribe today. Okay, we're going hot. And we're back. So in this video, we're using the Discovery ED PRS 5 to 25 by 56. Now this is going to be a really great scope if you're on a bit of a budget. It's got a great amount of elevation, really nice tactile turrets, great all-around scope. Like I said, if you're on a budget, uh, if you'd like to find one of these scopes, I'll leave a link in the description box below for CDN Precision. And we're also using the Sunwife Photo T3040 tripod. Beautiful, amazing carbon fiber tripod. Um, and I'll leave a link for that in the description box below with a discount code for you to use on both of those sites. Now let's get back to the review. So let's go from the worst and get to the best. So the Federal 140 grain uh, hybrid rounds. Now a three shot group shot a .988 group but at a five shot group, it shot a 1.89. Next, we have the Hornady 147 grain rounds. So that one well, on the three shot group was a 0.419, but on a five shot group, I don't know if I threw the last one or not, uh, the fifth shot was a 1.68. Then we went to the Hornady 140 grain ELD mass rounds. Now that on a three shot group for that was a 0.324. But on a fifth shot, I really got to know better than to keep shooting five shots, it went up to a 1.22. Then we went to the S&B 142 grain rounds. Now, I only had three rounds for that. I normally don't like shooting the S&Bs. I don't find they shoot very well out of most of the guns. But a three-shot group shot a 1.87. Then we went to the Nosler 140 grain match rounds. A three-shot group shot a .227, unbelievably nice. A five-shot group shot a .910 group. Then, the best for last, we went to the Federal Gold Medal Match Rounds, 140 grains. A uh, three-shot group was a .462. A five-shot group was a .595. So on average, over a five-shot group, uh, with six different boxes of match ammunition, it, it shot a 1.34. But here's the thing. By doing three shot groups with this, it shot a 0.7 inch grouping on average over six different boxes of ammunition. 
Next, we have the barrel action. So the barrel action on this is bloody fantastic. Um, I'd say this is very close to, say, like a Tika Taka one. This thing is buttery smooth. And I do mean, um, like, it's incredible. There's no real oil on this gun. I haven't oiled it. It's just running like it is right now. It's super, super buttery smooth. Um, I like the oversized bolt handle on it. It's got about a 70 degree bolt throw. Uh, it's easy to lift. I don't have to work at it at all on that. On top of that is it also comes with a five round uh, polymer magazine with the Baguera logo on it, but it also does take AIC style magazines. And what's really nice is this thing is like, just like that to get in. This thing is just incredibly nice and easy. It's got a nice paddle right here on the bottom, which is ambidextra, uh, so it's easy to get to. So when you get them in here, on some of my rifles, I find I gotta kinda work at it to get them in. If you're doing like PRS style shooting, you gotta do quick mag changes. This thing just goes in with no problem, comes out even better, so you can get Ranger's right on it very, very quickly. Just unbelievably nice and easy to use. Also, we had no failures to feed with this rifle, no failures to eject. This thing is super, super re reliable. Um, this thing was just throwing cases out. So, so far, I'm definitely impressed with the Baguera B14, especially these barreled actions. Now, the one really thing, one thing that's really nice about it is that you can just buy these barreled actions by themselves from your dealer. That's also very cool. The other thing is that these are uh, chromoly steel. Now, if you were looking at the Baguera HMR Premier, then it's going to be slightly different. So they do have a slightly different receiver to them and a different trigger. And I do believe it's a, a trigger tech trigger in the Premier versions. Now that's the difference about the two of the rifles. Now what I was told from a buddy of mine is that this is a swapped out trigger. He changed the trigger on this. Uh, this is a trigger tech trigger that's in this one. Uh, why? Because the trigger was kind of trashy on this model. Uh, it was very creepy. Uh, it had really bad braking weights on it. It wasn't a super reliable trigger. Whereas with this one that's in here now, it's right about one and a half pounds and it's perfect. It's right on the money. So maybe you might want to be looking at buying uh, the premier version because then you're going to get the trigger tech primary trigger. And I've already got one on another rifle of mine and it's like, it's perfect. I love the primary triggers. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't know what else to say about that. So there are some minor differences between the premier and for this one. Now the other thing on this is that this barrel is fully free floated. I can take a piece of paper like this and put it in here and it goes all the way back to the action. I can just slide it right back out, which is very nice. Now this stock is really nice. It's got a couple eyelets for sling studs on them. Uh, you can take them off. You can put an arca rail and put a bipod on, or you can just put a bipod on the front end of this way. It's got some extra sections here so you can mount your sling on the sides if you want. It's actually half decently grip. It's not too thick on the grip itself. Um, what I don't really like is that even though it's textured here, it is kind of smooth. So your hands get wet and you might slip on the grip itself. But overall, it's it's pretty comfortable. It's not too thick up the front here. I don't like a thicker front end. Uh, this fits my hand pretty good. It also has a really nice uh, adjustable length of pull on it, which is easy to do. And for the adjustable comb height, it's just there. You lock it in and you're good to go. It's incredible. Now this weighs about th nine pounds, nine and a half pounds roughly. Uh, you can get them in like 300 PRC, 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, uh, 308 and a whole bunch of different other versions for these rifles. Now the bolt on this, uh, it's a two lug design. It's a single plunger and it actually feeds and ejects rounds with no problem at all. This, the safety on it is just single stage safety. I 
30 like this rifle. I've heard a lot about these. I've always wanted to play with one of these. I've never got my hands onto it. Luckily, my buddy uh, uh, allowed me to borrow his. I think this is a great rifle. Like, you could take it out deer hunting and then take it to the range. Now, I put an MDT muzzle brake on the end of this. I don't like shooting a rifle without muzzle brakes. Uh, that's just my thing. Um, I want to see how these guns are going to do, especially like I shoot a lot of long range, so I want to see what it acts like with a muzzle brake on it. And it didn't let me down. Um, you could use a bunch of different other muzzle brakes. There's Hellfire brakes. There's all kinds of brakes you can put on these rifles. I think this is a nice rifle. Like, if you're not comfortable with this stock that's on here, you could take it right off. Being a like a Remington 700 clone, you could put it into a Kadex chassis. Uh, you could put it into an MDT ACC chassis or an XRS chassis or anything like that, and it would work. I think this is a great rifle. This was a lot of fun to play with today. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed shooting this gun. Uh, it didn't. I didn't have any problems shooting it at all. I didn't have to fight with the lift on the bolt like some of these rifles that I've gotten. It was just, yeah, it's. it was a pleasure to shoot this rifle. Um, I think if I found the right ammo for it, I think the best ammunition I'd probably shoot through this gun, you know, being factory, uh, would be the Federal Gold Metal Match 140s. This gun likes it. Now, you could reload this thing and uh, fine-tune it even more and make this gun really work like there's no tomorrow for you. I think it's an incredible rifle. It's well worth the money. Now, the warranty on these, it's, uh, uh, from what I've read, is it's only a single owner warranty. So if you buy one of these used, you're kind of out of luck. I guess that's the way it is. Uh, it also says that uh, they won't cover it if they find out that you've been reloading for these rifles. Uh, normal wear and tear, it's not covered, but if there's an issue with um, workmanship or if the gun hasn't worked properly since the day you bought it, then it's going to be covered. So what do I think in the end for this rifle? I think this is well worth the money. Yeah, they're 1600 bucks, but then if you go out and buy a Tika Attac A1, um, it's going to cost you more than that. Uh, you can take this one out deer hunting, moose hunting, and go to the range and shoot a thousand yards with this thing. I think it's incredible. I think this is a great rifle. Uh, Bagheera's come a long way with their rifles, and their actions, like, wow, um, for a factory action, it's right up there with the Tika, in my view. So there you go, guys. There's my review of the Bagheera uh, B14 HMR. If you like the video so far, please hit the like button. If you like the channel so far, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time at Ultimate Arms. Bye for now.